Serena Williams plays in an exhibition match against Yelena Ostapenko. Tom Doolett, Getty Images. Serena Williams announced Thursday that she will not be playing in next week's Australian Open, saying that she did and want to compete in a tournament she felt she couldn't get all the way through to a championship. Last week, the 36-year-old played in her first competitive match since giving birth to her daughter, Alexis Olympia, on Sept. 1, of that exhibition match, which she lost to French Open champion Yelena Ostapenko. Williams said in a statement posted on Snapchat, After competing in Abu Dhabi I realized that although I am super close, I'm not where I personally want to be. My coach and team always said only go to tournaments when you are prepared to go all the way. I can compete but I don't want to just compete. I want to do far better than that and to do so, I will need a little more time. Williams continued, with that being said, and even though I am disappointed about it, I've decided not to compete in the Australian Open this year. The memory of last year's Open is one that I will carry with me. And Olympia and I look forward to coming back again. I appreciate the support and understanding of my fans and everyone at the Australian Open. After winning last year in Melbourne, defeating her sister Venus for her 23rd Grand Slam singles title, Williams revealed that she had competed at the tournament only a couple of days following the discovery that she was approximately eight weeks pregnant, saying in April that she had been nervous about playing in such a condition. Williams added, I really felt that I did and have time to deal with any extra emotions, any extra anything, because, pregnant or not, no one knew. And I was supposed to win that tournament as I am every tournament that I show up for. If I don't win, it's actually much bigger news. Williams took the rest of the 2017 season off and had her daughter with then fiance Alexis Ahanian, now her husband, before she was said by Aussie Open tournament director Craig Tiley to want to defend her title. Just before Christmas, she thrilled her fans by announcing that she would play in the exhibition against Ostapenko. But they will have to wait a bit longer to see her in a more consequential match. The true champion Serena is has been demonstrated in the Herculean efforts she has made over the past few months in her desire to play the Australian Open. Tylee said Thursday in a statement. Serena transcends the sport in the way she approaches all aspects of her life and consistently gives her all in everything she does. It was never going to be good enough for her to just compete. She wants to give herself the best chance to win. This is why she has pushed it and pushed it until the 11th hour to make her final decision. The other winners of 2017 Grand Slam women singles titles are Stepenko, Garbine Muguruza, Wimbledon, and Sloane Stephens, U.S. Open, are set to compete at Melbourne. Those three, all ranked in the WTA's top 13, will be joined by the likes of Simona Halep. No. 1. Caroline Wozniacki. 3. Karolina Pliskova. 4. Venus Williams. 5. And Coco Vandaway. 10. Read more from the post. For MYA 4 Star. Making it to college basketball and beyond the American Indian reservation she calls home want. Be easy. Steelers Ryan Shazier regains feeling in legs. While Todd Haley has shattered pelvis. Ashley Wagner enters Friday's U.S. Figure Skating Championships free skate on thin ice. I want to be where I'm wanted. Let's predict what Kirk Cousins tells fans on Friday.